Hi there, if you are new to using virtual background in Zoom for teaching, then this tutorial is for you. I will show you how to adjust the size of images to fit to Zoom, adding images in GIF to PowerPoint, save PowerPoint slides as PNG or JPEG, save your PowerPoint slides as MP4, upload those images and videos as Zoom virtual backgrounds, and adjust your video size when sharing a PowerPoint as a share screen. So first things first, when you are on your PowerPoint, make sure you go to the top tab, the design tab, and then go to slide size. Make sure your size is in widescreen 16 by nine or just 16 by nine. Click on that one so that anything that you put in your slide and once you save it, will appear to your virtual background. So now let's add some images. I've chosen here SpongeBob. So on Google, I'll just hover on top of the image and right, right click on it and I copy the image. I go back to my PowerPoint and I paste the image as Control V. Once I have pasted it, I can resize it. If you want the entire image as the background, then you have to expand the entire image all the way to the edges of your slide. But if you want to add more images into your slide, then you can do that as well. So you can make your image smaller, one image smaller here, and then add another image. So we can do that. I want to go to another site with a SpongeBob. Let's say this one. So I hover on the picture and then right click and I copy the image. Right now it says SpongeBob transparent background. Let's see if we'll paste as transparent. So I copy the image. I go back to my PowerPoint and then I hit control V. So if you can see here, there is still a background for this picture. So what you can do is click on the image, click picture format, and here on the top side, it says remove background. So I can do that, remove background. But as you can see, his eyes, SpongeBob's eyes will be removed as well in some parts of him. And it's hard for me to mark areas to keep when I'm using a mouse. So I'll just discard all those changes, remove this image, and go back to Google. So here in Google, I right-click on the image, and then I save it. So I usually save it to my pictures. They save it on my pictures, and then I go to this website called photoscissors.com. So what I do is I upload the image so that it will remove the background of the photo that I chose. So I click upload the image and then choose the SpongeBob that I want. So this is SpongeBob that I chose. And wait until this page appears and then I download the image. I usually just download in low resolution and that is enough for use for virtual background. So after downloading that, it will appear at the bottom of my screen. I click on that to open. So I'm waiting for that to open. All right, now it's open. And what I do is just copy it. So I copy this image and then I go back to my PowerPoint and I hit Control V to paste it. And now its background is gone. So I can resize that. I can even add another design. I can add a format background. I can add a solid background or a textured background to so whatever background you want and I apply it to my slide. All right, so from here, 
we can save this as a PNG or a JPEG. So you go to File, click Save As. I want to save this to my desktop right now. And the file type that you have to choose is either PNG or a JPEG file. So both of these file types you can use for virtual background. I am just so used to using PNG. So for this time, I'll click PNG and I will use a file name of SV images. And I'll hit save. Okay, so if you have multiple slides, you can save them all at once into a PNG or JPEG. But since I only have one slide, I'll just click just this one or just this one. All right, so from there, let me minimize this one and let me show you how to add that image into your background. So in my Zoom meeting, I go to this camera and there's an arrow next to it. So you click that and then you click choose virtual background. From there, this box appears. So here, you can add images and videos. So you make sure on this side, on the left side of the, of the square, you go to background and filters. And if you have a green screen, click on that too. And in this box, make sure you click that so that you can tell what, what the color of your screen is. And up here, there's a plus sign. So you click that plus sign and you add an image. So once that's clicked, you can choose the image that you want. So for example, I want this one and I'll open it. Now it's turned into the background. Yay. All right, now let's add a GIF. Let's go to Google again. So from Google, I want to look for a GIF. So I have, I found a GIF of SpongeBob and I, what I will do is right click on it. I'll click copy image. And then from there, I'll go to my PowerPoint. Let me insert a new slide. And here I hit control V and just copy that video, that GIF format video. And then you have to expand it all the way to the edges of your slide. And then from here, you have to save it as MP4. So let me delete this slide. Take note that if you are saving a video or anything with animation, you have to save it one at a time. So here, I will save this slide as an MP4. So I'll go to File, Save As. I'll put it in on my desktop and the file type will be the MP4. So I'll click on that and then I will say SB Video 1 and I will click save. So now it's saved as a video on my desktop. Now for me to add that into the virtual background in Zoom, what I'm going to do is I'll go back to this arrow down here next to the camera and then I'll hit, uh, I'll click choose virtual background and then this box appears again. And on the plus, plus sign, I will click add video. And I will just add a video that I saved as MP4. So there. Now it is my virtual background. All right, now let's move on to the last part of this tutorial. 
let me show it to you. All right, so we've done all these. Now let's adjust the video size when sharing a PowerPoint as a screen share. So what you're going to do is click on the, the, the screen share, the green screen share arrow. And then it usually shows you the basic at first. What you can do is go to advanced and then click PowerPoint as virtual background and then click share. Once you click that, you have to identify the file that you want to share or the PowerPoint file that you want to share. Click open and there it is. Usually your video will be small, like it will be here on one side. What you can do is you click on your video and then you can expand the video as big as your, your um, zoom screen. Or you can make it smaller and then you can move yourself anywhere on the screen. All right, for my purpose, I usually like my video as big as my screen so that I can manipulate um, everything on my background. All right, from here, you just click outside of the box and it won't be on edit mode anymore and you can manipulate your slides using these arrows so from here i'm just clicking and you don't have to upload these slides as images anymore because you may be able you can use it as share background all right so that's it. I hope this is helpful for you. This is Mrs. Jack, Mrs. Abney signing off till my next video. Bye.